without any discrimination based on their caste, religion, or gender. Keeping this perspective, I feel that we have aptly organized this program to empower the stakeholders on various issues on protecting the rights of the child, keeping the best interests of the child in mind. I take this opportunity to extend a warm welcome to our chief guest for today, Sri Alu Hansing, Chairman SEPCR. It is a matter of great pleasure for all of us. All their effects towards the child rights protection. That is why we all are here. And this is the best way to enhance your skills to, towards the betterment of the children. And this is the sign of that you all are very interested in the child rights. And uh, uh, this is the best opportunity to come here. And it will not take your much time because I have a lot of sessions with you all people. And thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Also, the world must be concerned in a domain stage to care and to protect a child. Whether it is in capital level or whether it is in a society level. Now the domain stage, I think, it should be over with all the programs that is been placed by the government, by the central as well as by the state. Now the state government also have been implementing various programs and has been adopting various scale for the protection and care of the child's rights, as we all know. And this forum for the big long training, when we see we are also one of them, child welfare committee is also one of them. And it is the apex body in all the districts. Now, from our elementary districts, now we have become 16 districts. And in all the 16 districts, it is being formed. And I think it is the chairman, along with its members, to work for each and every job that is within your jurisdiction. I'm thankful to say that this commission, along with the state commission, has organized this. And I'd like to add that Nagaland State Commission for Protection of Child Rights is actively involved. The members are actively involved. The commission is actively involved. That's what I want. The child support committee of the system districts to be informed <coughs> that the state commission is actively involved to see the working system of what you can be in the districts too. I would also like to say that the commission has brought up day to day topics for each session and it has been thoroughly planned for all of you. And I request each and every one to be present every day. Because day by day dot the topics they've done is very important. If you know me, you can help each other. If you don't know, you may have to help with child. Because that is the rights of every child and for which we have all been appointed for a three years ten. During during your tenure, I feel that you will give an awareness not only to in your office but given awareness to the parents, to the societies that this kind of privilege, this kind of preference is being given to a child. And I feel that with the presence, everyday presence, you will actively be involved with your ideas, with your parents, so that even the resource persons will have an index study for you to learn. I hope that all of you will get a challenge to save the time. Thank you. It was during the Geneva Convention, either uh, at that time it's called League of Nations, that was after the first World War, in 1925. It was for the first time <coughs> the right of the child, the right of children was recognized. 
Then later on, in the year 1959, the United Nations also adopted the exclusion guidelines. So again, this was modified in the year 1989 by the United Nations, following it fully into protection of Chinese. And then the year was specified. It was from 0 to 180. So this one was specified. Then the government of India in the year 1992 have ratified or adopted these child rights, protection of child rights, and pass an act in the parliament. And then our state, the government of Nagaland, has passed this legislation in the year 2013. Right? So when we look at it from the very beginning, that was from the year 1929, it's going to be almost a century, 98 plus years since the inception. Whereas in India, it is going to be around, I think, it is somewhere around 31 years now after the year. When we look at this, what I want you to feel is that in the Western world, it's going to be almost a century, whereas in our country, it's almost somewhere around 30 plus years only. So you just compare. In the Western world, when we look at it, they give so much importance now. That's why their children are advancing in order to create a congenial atmosphere for the children. You need to give them protection. That is what they are doing. And now, in our country, it's going on for 31 years or so. We are also trying to catch up. We are doing quite a lot. Whereas in the state of Nagaland, we have adopted this not even 10 years now, 9 plus years. However, we are going to try our best, and I'm so happy that the government, under the leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister, Mr. Pugil, is fully committed to the protection of child rights. Therefore, dear friends, we all have a purpose here. Why you just consider yourself? There are so many people in Nagaland who could, who could be in your place, who could be in my place. We are proud. Well, I think only about 60, 50 to 60 persons gathered here for this training program. We are the chosen one from God that we should not forget. But God has specifically chosen us to work for the children, to work for the mission. So we should consider ourselves for today. At the same time, we are chosen for a purpose, and that purpose we should know. We have to create a congenial atmosphere for the children of Nagaland. And this is the aim and target of the government of Nagaland under the leadership of our to create a vibrant future generation. And in order to create a vibrant future generation, we have to set up a very conducive atmosphere 
for the children to grow. Like the previous speaker, my colleague mentioned four pillars of the right to children. Right to survival, the right to protection, right to development, and right to participation. These are the one of the four pillars of the provision as well as for protection of the children. So it is in our hand how we take this children, the future of our children. We are all a stakeholder here. And most of us are children, are parents here. So when you are a parent to a child, automatically you are also a stakeholder. These things we should always keep in our mind. We want to mold a vibrant generation another generation of vibrant, another generation. So it is a responsibility to a great extent of lives of us. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter. And Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.